Um, now we're going to go on to the rabbits. So, uh, as I said, this was what my chart, some of my charts were looking at last year. So don't, don't be too upset that we, we don't see much there because we've got the, the calendar that we can work at, look at. We're going to work at the feng shui. I'm just going to say it up front. The east sector is where uh, the rabbit resides on the compass dial. And it's really good. Now, it does have a little bit of cranky energy that you won't be able to do renovations there, but it's really, really good. When we get to that section, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the East Sector. So, But anyway, so we just get to talk about um, some of the things that they are going to get entangled in. And so what we're going to be looking at is that we've got a little bit of, uh, we've got to watch out for injuries uh, there might be some health re issues, relationship issues, so you're going to need to watch that. But a rabbit is, is, is going to be a bit feisty, and it's been this way for a couple of years. I want you to think about this rabbit as more of that big, more, more of the aggressive hair than a cute little bunny. It's not a cute little bunny. It's more of an aggressive hair. And this year, hair is in the animal. Uh, this year, what we need to watch out for, though, is like, don't be the doormat. Yes, you can be feisty. I don't think there's anything wrong with that terminology either. But it's more like set some nice, clear boundaries versus, um, you know, just being a, you know, rah, raging, raging um, person there. So watch the arrogance and drama, but um, try to set some boundaries, and I think that could help you this year. Now, this year, the, your immune system might be a bit weakened. Uh, and so remember, we've got all that metal, and this is a wood animal, so that's why it's getting chopped. So the, um, that's why we're seeing your immune be a little bit low this year, especially if you're in the senior age. And, uh, and then, um, so we've got a little bit of challenging, challenging energy for the rabbits. So let's move on to the next one. The best friend of the, the rabbit is the dog, though. The dog has fabulous energy this year. So find a dog friend. Um, someone, actually <laughs> someone actually asked me during the year of the dog, I kid you not, you guys, Someone came up to me during a break and said, it's the year of the dog. I don't have a dog. Should I go ahead and buy one? And I went, what? No. <laughs> I said, what are you going to do when the year of the dragon comes? I mean, like, it's like at a certain point, you're going to have a pig, a rat. I mean, you, like, no, you do, that's not changing the energy of anything. If you want a companion dog, buy a companion dog. But that does not solve a uh, a feng shui problem. So anyway, but I did, I did get a chuckle out of that one too. <laughs> anyway, all right. So the combination of animals are um, rabbit, goat, and pig. We know that the pig's got some good energy um, this year. So um, depend on that. The goat, not so much, but that's okay. That's okay. Then go on. And then the clash um, is the rooster. So this is a metal animal um, that's kind of pecking at the um, rabbit. So um, we can, you, we're going to steer clear of that.